For the following exercises, determine if the given graph is a one-to-one -one function. All right, so in order to determine this, we just have to know the basic definition of a one-to-one -one function. It'd be beneficial. And that definition states that a one-to-one -one function is a function where each x can have only one y. Now that right there, before I continue, is the definition of a simple function. So a one-to-one -one function first has to be a function. That's basically what it's saying. And then, and, where each y can have only one x. That's the whole one-to-one -one part, all right? So this is the one-to-one one to one part. So there's basically two things we gotta do in order to classify this thing or this thing as a one-to-one -one function. First, it's gotta be a function, and then we can classify it as a one-to-one -one function. So how do we classify functions as functions? Well, they have to pass the vertical line test. So under the tip here, I say a one-to-one -one function must pass both the vertical line test. That's the function test, all right? And the horizontal line test. Now that's the one-to-one -one test, okay? And if it passes both, then we can say that it is a one-to-one -one function, all right? So vertical line test, right? Draw a vertical line anywhere you like along the graph. If it intersects the graph only once in one location, then the graph is indeed a function. Now that's what this looks like over here to me, right? No matter where I draw my vertical line, there's only gonna be one point of intersection. So this right now passes the vertical line test, okay? So we have a pass. So this is indeed a function. Doesn't mean it's a one-to-one -one function, it just means it's a function. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the horizontal line test. Now the horizontal line test is basically the same thing as the vertical line, just drawn horizontally, right? So now what I want to do is draw a horizontal line. And I use the same decision criteria now as if I were doing a vertical line test, meaning if this horizontal line I drew now intersects the graph in two or more locations, it violates the law or the rule that it is a one-to-one -one function, all right? This horizontal line should only intersect one location ever for this graph to call it a one-to-one. -one. So as soon as it intersects two or more times on the horizontal line test, it is not a one-to-one, -one. all right? So this is now not a one-to-one. -one. So this thing is a function, but it's not a one-to-one -one function. Right? So let's apply the same logic and let's see how fast we can do it, right? It's very quick. So the next one, just start looking at horizontal lines. Is there anywhere, is there any way that this horizontal, excuse me, I said horizontal, let's draw vertical lines, okay? Vertical lines, is there any way possible that this vertical line will intersect the graph more than, in more than one location, no matter where I draw it? No, right? So this does pass the vertical line test, all right? Therefore, it is a function. Now we got to do the horizontal line test. So draw a whole bunch of horizontal lines and see if this now intersects the graph in more than one location. And it doesn't, right? It doesn't, no matter where I draw it. So since it does not intersect more than once, it passes the horizontal line test and we can now qualify this to be a one-to-one. One-to-one. -one. One -one. And since it passes both tests, it's a one-to-one -one function, all right? So guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. See you next time.